What's up guys, it's your boy Willie Gun Guy. First of all, like and subscribe this video, man. What's going on with y'all, man? Like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know what y'all wanna see. And you know what, here, let me give y'all 10 seconds to wait. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. I'm not gonna, that was probably slow or fast, but look what I'm saying, man, go subscribe. Go show, go show me some love, man. It's not a lot of, it's not a lot of people out here really doing this. So, I'm staying consistent. I'm dropping three videos a week. You know what I'm saying? Maybe two, you know what I'm saying? But y'all at least gonna get one. But hey, go like and subscribe. Matter of fact, yes, yeah, go like and subscribe. I need both of those. I need both of those. You know what I'm saying? It don't take, it don't take nothing but a press of a button, you know what I'm saying, to show Willie Gun Guy some love. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to stay here for too long. You know what I'm saying? My last couple videos, I forgot to tell y'all like and subscribe. And clearly, y'all forgot to like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, no. Y'all liked it. But y'all ain't subscribe. What I got to do, you know what I'm saying, to make y'all like and subscribe? Beg for it? Well, goddamn, I'm begging. Please. Go like and subscribe. Goddamn. Well, these gun guys, today I got a video for y'all about Joe Biden, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't get into politics on my channel. But when somebody try to take something that I bought from me, Oh, we gonna get gritty, ho. What's up, guys? So this may be a little controversial for you guys, and today I got the laptop, so you know I'm speaking. The you know what I'm saying? Statistics. Today I'm going off of statistics. The Biden plan to end our gun violence epidemic. JoeBiden.com. This is his campaign, guys. So this is not something that you know. This isn't something that they're they're hiding from us. Well, look, busted. I need to go get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? So, so in our country, he's saying we have a gun violence epidemic. So I just need y'all to understand and listen to what he's saying because nobody else talks about the other things that's happening in our country. So a lot of people have been saying, save our children. I'm sorry, let me put that up a little bit. A lot of people are saying, save our children. There's way too many gun deaths uh, in the United States. So since we're going to be banning stuff, let's go ahead and start banning other things that that's killing everyone in the United States. So let's just, let me throw you out a couple numbers. Gun violence, 40,000 people die as a result of firearm injuries every year in the United States. So let's just, let's just keep it at 40,000 and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna actually break that number down on how many is suicide and how many is um, you know accidental deaths uh, and how many is uh, murders, uh, homicides. So just remember that number, 40,000. So let's, let's go ahead and click through the pages that off the top of my head I know has been an issue for years and no one has ever said anything about it. So, how many people in America die from smoking cigarettes every year? And I don't care about people smoking cigarettes, and there's no ban on people smoking cigarettes other than you have to be 21 years old, and you don't have to get a background check to kill. Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year. 480,000 deaths. 440,000 more deaths than gun deaths. So for all you, so for everyone out there who's talking about Oh, this, that, and blah, say blah, 480 deaths. So let's talk about this for the people who don't smoke. Gun deaths take 40,000 deaths. Secondhand smoke is 41,000 deaths. Secondhand smoke. You don't even have to smoke and you can still die. Think about that. You know how many people have guns in America? Matter of fact, let me tell you how many people, how many people has a registered, matter of fact, how many guns are in America? Let me see. There are more guns than people in the United States. There are 400 million guns in circulation for a population of 330 million. So there's 400 million guns and only 40,000 deaths per year. So I just want to I just want to let's keep keep tapping on that number. Keep tapping on the number. So like I said, number one, 480,000 deaths per year in the United States, including more than 41,000 deaths resulting from secondhand smoke exposure. This is about one in five deaths annually or 1,300 deaths every single day. March 23rd, 2020, that was posted, and that was by CDC.gov. So all these aren't just random numbers I'm getting. This, these are fact check numbers, and this is by the CDC. And I know you guys listen to the CDC, so you know what I'm saying? Like I said, so that's 480,000 deaths by smoking cigarettes. 40,000 deaths by um, gun, gun deaths. Uh, so let's search this up. 40,000 deaths by guns, right? 460 children are reported missing every year. 
I was trying to find the stats on how many are recovered, but I can tell you that if 460 children are missing every year, you guys got a bigger problem than guns. Cause goddamn 460,000 children, children, this isn't even total. Like you guys are talking about guns this, guns that, guns that. What about fucking child sex trafficking? What about all the stuff that never hits the news that only social media talks about? Nobody talks about how many kids are going missing every year, but you guys want to talk about the 10, maybe 15, 20, 30 deaths that happened in a school shooting by someone who should have had mental health issues and they weren't helped at home, you know? But it's bigger than, it's bigger than, oh, 30 kids got, got shot at school. It's way bigger than that, you know? Because... Think about this, the only, when I went down to Mexico, the only people I seen with guns, and the only people that can have guns in Mexico, I don't even know, you, you're not allowed to, I had a bullet in Mexico, and I, and I got put in handcuffs. So, let's just, I had a bullet, not even a gun, a bullet, uh, just one, two, it was actually two, and I got put in handcuffs. 460,000 kids per year goes missing. Like I said, I don't know how many get recovered, but just think about how many you can rec how many kids you can recover out of four hundred and sixty thousand. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta think logically. But like, you gotta think logically. And I know a lot of people won't report on this subject, but like, come on, guys. There's three hundred and twenty-eight million in the United States as of 2019. Um, let me see. So let's go back to John Biden go gun plan. So, so 40,000 people die as a result of firearm injuries every year in the United States and many more are wounded. Some of these deaths are injuries and the result of mass shootings that make national headlines. Others are the result of daily acts of gun violence or suicides that may not take the communities left behind, but are, de but are devastating to the families and communities left behind. So let me say one thing before I start this because I just feel like this is a this is a tactic ploy um I feel like this is this is more so for rich people and why I'm gonna get into it in the video why I say it's more so for rich people but there's just a lot of a lot of fees you have to pay if you want to keep your guns uh or you can just turn them in fees that only only sensible rich people can pay or you're only gonna have one gun so let's let's Joe Biden claims he took on NRA, had bans of assault weapons, which are not even called assault weapons. Uh, he wants to hold gun manufacturers accountable, blah, say, blah, get weapons of war off the streets. All right, let's start it. So, step one, ban the mag manufacture and sale of assault weapons and high capacity magazines. One, what is an assault weapon? Somebody tell me what an assault weapon is in the comments down below. This is what I need y'all to do, because I'm not even gonna tell y'all what an assault weapon is, but an assault weapon, you, it can't be an assault weapon if you haven't assaulted anybody. It doesn't make sense. It's just not called an assault weapon, they're called a firearm, so it can't be an assault weapon if you got that, I mean, hit nobody, do nothing to nobody, you know what I'm saying? Only it can be, I don't know the logistics, and I thought assault weapons, I'm not even gonna get into it. He says, federal law prevents hunters from hunting migratory game bird with more than three cells in their shotgun. That means our federal law does more to protect ducks than children. Ducks than children. Like I said, 460, 460 children go missing per year. That's none, of, that's none of my business though. It's wrong. Joe Biden will enact legislation to once again ban assault weapons. This time the ban will be designed based on lesson learned from the 1994 bans. For example, the ban on assault weapons will be designed to prevent manufacturers from circumventing the law by making minor changes that don't limit the we that don't limit the weapons lethality. While working to pass this legislation, Biden will also use his executive authority to ban the importation of assault weapons. Executive authority. So what they mean by that? Executive. What did Donald Trump do when he didn't get his way in office? And like I said, this isn't about politics. He just wrote an executive order and then he got sued for it later. So, just like, just like when the COVID happened and they weren't trying to pass a bill and then Donald Trump extended the six weeks pay with an executive order. It was just that simple. You're the president and you have, you have and you can make changes like that that um, eventually you're going to have to go to court for. So, 
regulate possession of existing assault weapons under the National Firearm Act. Can, currently, the NFA requires uh, individuals possession of machine guns, silencers, and short barrel rifles to undergo a background check and register their weapons. With the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, ATF, Due to these requirements, such, such weapons are rarely used in crimes. As President Biden will pursue legislation to regulate possession of ex existing assault weapons under the National Firearm Act. So, basically what they're saying is that just because machine guns, silencers, and short barrel rifles uh, undergo a background check and you have to register those weapons, they're basically saying blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? You, they don't get used in a crime because they're registered, which... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it because you guys are talking about gun laws, but Chicago has the worst gun laws in the world. Uh, I can't say in the world, but Chicago has the worst gun laws in the United States. But they also has the most deaths. So who's do, who's doing the shooting? Somebody tell me something because if if Chicago has the most gun deaths in the United States, who's doing the shooting if nobody's allowed to have guns? You can't even drive in your car with a gun. You have to have you have to have your bullets out of the magazine. You have to have the magazine in the trunk. And you gotta have the fucking gun somewhere else locked up in the lockbox. So who's doing the shooting if nobody can have guns already? In Chicago, in California, who's doing the shooting? In California, you can you can't even. Well, now they changed it. I don't know if they they enacted it yet, but you actually can have more than ten rounds in your firearm now in California. But who's doing the shooting with all these gun laws? Somebody explain something to me. Who's doing it? Exactly. Nobody can. They just say numbers, but they don't explain it to anybody. So, regulate possession of existing assault weapons under... Okay, so that, like I said, they, they're basically saying that such weapons are rarely used in crimes because of the requirements that they have. <clears throat> buy, back, oh, buy back the assault weapons and high-capacity magazine already in our communities. If you're not offering me $100 million for, per gun, I'm not going to sell them back to you. Uh, Biden will also institute a program to buy back weapons of war currently on our streets. Now... If, hey, if you got an M16, which some people, just like he said, some people can have M16s, but you have to get those registered. You got to go through some type of FFL to do all the extra stuff and get guns like that. But weapons of war. Didn't they fucking have a musket for the longest time and a revolver that only took six shots? What are you talking about? Come on. They just implemented M16s recently. Not like, I don't mean recently, like in the past five years, but recently, like maybe in the past... Let me see. Let me see, guys. I got you guys. Don't worry about it. 1964. It hasn't even been... Uh, come on. Come on. 1964. Like, what's going on? M16. Those are full auto weapons. Those are That's a full auto firearm that nobody legally has. I mean, some people may have them. Like I said... But it's not it's not easy for you to just you, one. Let me tell you, you can't go into the gun store and just say, "Hey, I want a full auto M16." Doesn't work like that. Hey, I want a full auto P90. Doesn't work like that. Uh, it just don't. It just don't work like that. And that's that's the way they're making it seem. Is that how it works? Um, reduce stockpiling of weapons. Oh, sorry. So this is still high capacity magazines already in our computers, com communities. Um, these will give individuals who now possess assault weapons or high capacity magazines two options. Sell the weapon to the government or register them under the National Firearm Act. So I'm waiting for them to tell us how much this National Firearm Act is. Just wait. So reduce stockpiling of weapons. Uh, that's another one. In order to reduce the stockpiling of firearms, Biden support legislation restrictions the number of firearms an individual may purchase to, per month to one. Um, I believe in California, it's already like this. It's like, uh, you can, you can get one pistol and one rifle per month. And I also heard that in California, they're going to be dropping it down to just one pistol or one rifle per month. So in California, it's already like that. Um, for the people who go buy five, six guns at a time, I feel bad for you, buddy. You know what I'm saying? It just helps you save money. That's all I can say. But you better think real hard on what gun you want because there's a goddamn lot of them. Um, so basically, in Arizona, as long as you can pass that background check, you have your CCW. Uh, usually, if you usually if you try to go buy two or three firearms with just your ID, because uh, that's all you need in Arizona, your ID. <laughs> um, 
usually when that happens they just run that background check you'll probably get delayed because you bought four firearms why are you buying four firearms uh, but if you have your CCW and you did decide to go into the store and buy knock out 10 gun purchases at once uh, there is no limit and I don't agree to him saying that you can only purchase one per month no stockpiling like this is ridiculous um, keep guns out of dangerous hands the federal background check system, the National Institute Criminal Background Check System, is one of the best tools we have to prevent gun violence, but it's only effective when it's used. It's used every time you purchase a firearm. Biden will enact universal background check legislation and close other loopholes that allow people who should be prohibited from purchasing firearms and making those purchases. Specifically, he will... Wow, I ran out of memory. Give me one second. Boom, should be decent. Uh, basically, require background checks for all gun sales. Today, an estimated one in five firearms are sold or transferred without a background check. Um, so, in Arizona, I don't know a lot about gun laws for the rest of the United States, but in Arizona, you can do a private sale. Um, so, basically, what that is is, if I wanted to post my gun, Facebook probably won't allow it anymore. But if I wanted to post my firearm, uh. If I want to post my firearm for sale, I can have anyone buy it as long as they, you know, but they have to admit that they don't have a felony on their record or, you know, nonviolent crimes or things like that. Um, so he's saying basically one in five uh, are sort of transferred without a background check. That, but think about it. If you get pulled over and you have a firearm on your felony, you're going to jail regardless. So... And police pull people over for anything in Arizona. You you can goddamn police mess with you for anything in Arizona. You can be walking down the street, you'll get stopped, and they'll wonder why you have a backpack on leaving out a store. It doesn't matter. You're gonna they're gonna find you. So Biden will enact universal background check legislation. Blah say blah. Gun shows and online sell loopholes. There's no gun sell loophole. When you go to when you go to a gun show, you have to fill out a background check. Uh, unless you have your CCW, I mean, you still have to fill out your background check, but it just makes it so much faster. Uh, he's saying that Obama and Biden narrowed the situation, but can't be fully closed by executive action alone. Close other loopholes in the federal background check system, in addition to closing the boyfriend loophole. Uh, so basically. I don't know. I'm not sure about the boyfriend loophole, but basically what that means is that um, if my mom or my sister wanted to give me a firearm, they can give me a firearm. Uh, as long as I'm 18 years, uh, I can get a pistol. Um, if I'm 21 years, uh, as long as if they gift it to me and I'm 18, I can get a pistol and I can also purchase a pistol through private sale uh, and I can get a rifle or whatever when I'm 18 anyway in the state of Arizona. Um, reinstate the Obama Biden policy to keep guns out of the hands of certain people unable to manage them, their affairs for mental reasons, which President Trump reversed. Um, so I did I did read up on that, and one thing I can say is that I agree. If if you have mental health issues, but I can't I can't 100% agree with that because some mental health issues does one thing, and some mental health issues does other things. So. I can't I can't just sit here and say, oh, you know, it'll work. It'll work and it won't work because some some mental health issues, you should still be allowed to purchase a firearm. Mental health doesn't always mean you're crazy and you're gonna go do something. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean you're gonna just off the rip go shoot up a school or off the rip kill somebody. It does not it doesn't work like that. You know, mental health issues could be ADHD. Uh mental health issues, oh I believe. Let me let me just verify before I don't even Yeah, is a mental illness that affects the way you act and focus. Um, so I can't, I like, it, I can't just sit here and say, like, a mental ill, a mentally ill person can't have a gun. Now, the mentally ill person, I, I, what I can say is that maybe there can be a tougher background check to make sure you're not going to kill anybody. Maybe add the question on there. First of all, people will fill it out. Uh, a lot of people aren't smart. I can tell you that for sure. And why I say that is because you know how many people I've seen going to the gun store who stand next to me and put is on the phone with their wife and say, hey, what type of gun do you want? You know, or 
Like you literally can't do that. And like the first question, I literally seen three or four people. Is this gun for you? They mark no. This is not for them. They they don't want to get in any trouble. So I mean, I feel like you can add an extra few questions to the background check, but in reality, um, there's 480,000 deaths in the year. Uh, there's 480,000 deaths per year in the United States for smoking cigarettes. So if you're not doing anything about the cigarettes, you damn sure not gonna sit here and try to tell me you're gonna do anything about the gun laws. Uh, you know what, let's let's just get down to these numbers because there's so much on here that he wants to do. Basically, you're not gonna have a gun. Basically, you're not gonna have a gun. Stop ghost guns. You can't, you can't reform, fund, and empower the U.S. Justice Department to enforce our gun laws. Direct ATF to issue an annual report of firearm trafficking. Um, what about, okay, direct the ATF to issue an annual report of firearm trafficking. What about children trafficking? That's what you guys need to fucking worry about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dedicate the brightest scientific minds to solving the gun violence public health epidemic. It does not work like that. It's not you're not gonna you're not gonna hire a scientist and he's gonna stop gun violence. It doesn't work like that. Prep the use of federal funds to arm and train educators to discharge firearms. Address the epidemic of suicides by firearms. Actually, I guess he said it. Biden believes any plan to address the gun violence epidemic must be addressed suicides by firearms, which accounts for six in ten six out of the ten gun related deaths, but are often left out of the conversation. So, out of four out of ten gun deaths in uh, the world in the United States is because of homicide, six out of so sixty percent of gun deaths out of the forty thousand, so sixty percent out of the forty thousand uh, are based on suicides. So just think about that. Uh, Creating network trauma care centers. So let's let's search up. Sorry guys. I didn't search this one up. Um, all right, boom. Uh, I got it. I got it right here. I got it. I got it up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all give me a couple seconds. This couple seconds that I was typing, y'all should have been subscribing. So let's just get it there. Hey, like I said, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning of the video, check out my other videos. You guys know I'm going to stay consistent. You guys know most of you will get in some wind interruptions. I need to get a new camera. I mean, this camera is great, but. You know what I'm saying? The wind, I, there's no wind muffs for it. All right, but look. The centerpiece of Vice President Joe Biden's gun control plan is to force all assault weapons, like I said, not a real thing, and magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds under the regulatory authority of the National Firearm Acts of 1934. That means that gun owners would have to pay $200 tax on every farm that meets the definition of an assault weapon. I'm aware there are a host of problems with this definition and a $200 tax on every magazine that can hold 11 or more rounds. A $200 tax on every magazine that can hold 11 or more rounds. I, I can, I, oh, first of all, all my guns hold more than, y'all seen my last video with the Glock 27, that even holds more than 11 rounds. So let me just, uh, let me just go ahead and put this in there for you guys. So, Simple as this, simple math. I, I have about maybe three mags for every gun I have, and I, I'm not gonna say how many guns I have, but you have to do the math yourself. So, I'm covering my glasses up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I would say I, 70, 75, I have about 75 different magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Uh, 75 times 200, so, for me to keep all the weapons I want, I would have to pay a $200 tax on every magazine that can hold 11 more rounds. So, that's 15,000 off the rip. So, that's 15,000. We're going to get a running, running tab right here. If you violate the NFA, you could face up to 10 years in federal prison and a $10,000 fine. Not or, and. You're going to get that $10,000 fine right there. So, um... Let's see, there are a few firearms and one carbine. Like I said, the shotguns hold less than six. Um, but I'm telling you, literally, people are saying the same thing. There were a few firearms and one carbine because they, can, they just can't do it. So, let me see.
keep in mind, 10 plus magazine was so worth it. just like AR and AK mags. That's crazy. That's crazy, because you already have to pay for a 100 round mag, 150 about that price. And then another $200 for the... Uh, Okay, there was a couple more things, but this video is getting kind of long. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. Um, basically, what, is, what I'm trying to say is that they're going to charge you $200 for tax, uh, $200 for every magazine over 11 rounds. Um, also, they're going to, if they deem that your weapon is an assault weapon, you have to get a tax stamp. Uh, I don't know the exact taxes on tax stamps right now. One thing I know is that a lot of people don't have tax stamps because they're so expensive. Because for a tax stamp, you have to get a tax stamp for each individual part that's deemed an assault weapon. So uh, maybe your say your trigger say your trigger make your gun shoot faster, um, but you have a different type of bulk carrier than other AR-15s. Um, and this is all like in the future. This isn't right now, but. And you have a different type of stock on the gun and they deem that each one of those require a different individual tax stamp they're not paying for it. you're paying for that and however much a tax stamp is per uh whatever per say the bolt was one the trigger was one and the stock was one you'll be paying for a tax stamp for that tax stamp for that tax stamp for that simple as that um and let's let's also break down how many people die from gun related injuries in the u.s each year uh, this is from 2017. We don't have anything newer. I did try to find one from 2019. Um, in 2017, uh, this is the okay. They said this is the most complete data available. So there was 39,773 people died from gun-related injuries in the U.S. According to the CDC, this figure includes gun murders and gun suicides, along with three other uh, types of guns. So let's just start with this. In 2017, six and ten gun-related deaths in the U.S. were suicides. Like I said, he did put that on his page. He probably read this off of PewResearch.org, just like I am. Um, so, 23,854 were due to suicide, while 37,000 were uh, murders. So, let me show you guys another something else. So that's that's just let's uh, and then uh, 400. The remainder were unintentional. 46. Uh, law enforcement was 553 or had undetermined, un, undetermined circumstances, 338. So, I know I threw a lot of numbers at you guys, but let's stick to the main two. Suicides, um, 23,854. 37% uh, were, mur uh, were murders, 14,542. Um, where is that at? Impaired driving. So... In 2016, 10,497 people died in alcohol in Paris. So we might as well stop selling alcohol, stop selling cigarettes, uh, and then we can stop selling guns. But if you guys aren't tackling the epidemic of drunk driving, if you guys aren't tackling the epidemic of 460,000 deaths of cigarettes, um, for smoking cigarettes, and 41,000 deaths of cigarettes, secondhand smoke, I don't want to hear nothing about this shit that y'all talking about, man. I, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are not going to say it, but that's just how I feel. If you're not tackling the bigger situation in a whole, you're not going to just tackle one situation and expect it to get better. Think about it. 460,000 deaths per year for cigarettes. 41,000 secondhand smoke. 10,500 uh, died in alcohol. You know what? And... Of those traffic deaths, zero to 14 years, uh, 1,233 1, traffic deaths um, were zero to 14. So it's not, it's, not, it's not like I'm trying to compare, but it's like we have way bigger issues. You have people driving drunk, getting into car accidents. Um, you have people smoking cigarettes, killing people. But there's, there's, no, there's not even a restriction on cigarettes. There's, you literally just have to pay. You have to be 21 years old to go get a cigarette. And that's a that's a uh, executive order that Trump just put in place. You just have to be 21 years old. Cause somebody, I'm just not understanding what what the issue is. You know what I'm saying? I understand that there's deaths, um, but let's 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 just say the real number of gun deaths. The gun deaths, 14,452 according to the CDC. Um, for that's 14,000 murders in the U.S. There's 460,000 basically murders in the U.S. 
uh, because they they know what they're doing. They're puff puff passing a cigarette around and it is puff puff dying. You know what I'm saying? So 460 and then 41,000 of those. So I'm not gonna keep it going for too much longer. I'm gonna actually get out of here, guys. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below. Go ahead and show me some love. Uh, it don't hurt to show me some love, especially someone who supports the Second Amendment. Hey, we'll do the gun guys out of here.